Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's a demo. Hey, it's Bo. And uh, we just got out of jail today. Both of us, Bo, Bo got out this morning. I got out a little while ago, but we wanted to give you guys a little update. So uh, this weekend, we were at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. We got a lot of content. We're really looking forward to getting at it this week. But uh, right away on Monday, there was a trial for a fellow activist, Rich Angel, who is testing the right to drive. And uh, Bo was there, and I'm going to let him pick up this part of the story. Well, yeah, I, uh, I was just sitting in the back. I came in a little late, and uh, I was wearing this hat here, my uh, cop block hat, and just happened to, um, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't trying, or uh, to, I wasn't exactly trying to get arrested or anything. I wasn't trying to provoke anybody. I was just sitting there minding my own business, and the bailiff happened to take a notice to it, came over, talked to me, said, uh, you, the judge is going to ask you to remove your hat or something like that. So if judge comes back in, he does end up asking me to remove it. Um, I told him, no, I don't, I don't see any reason why I need to do that. Um, I can't remember the exact words I said, but um, basically uh, I didn't comply. Um, I didn't, you know, bend over for the fucker. So, um, yeah, I ended up going into jail. I ended up, uh, they took me into a back room first, actually, um, came back out. After uh, I had my own little hearing or whatever, had no any not any kind of like uh, real trial with a jury or anything like that. I ended up just having a hearing, and uh, so they ended up uh, sentencing me to five days um, for contempt. For contempt, yeah, for two yeah. charges of contempt actually. So while that was going on, a Keen Four One One, a system used here by local activists to inform others of when things go down, uh, went out, and Pete and I heard about it, and we made our way down to the uh, Keen District Court. And so it was a big ordeal. They ended up sentencing Bull, like he said, to five days, and that was that. I was previously, back in January, uh, sentenced to 60 days, though I only served 16, um, for blurting out in court when Pete Ayer uh, was arrested for wearing a hat as well. So I didn't do that this time with Bo, A, because I wasn't in the court, and B, I had learned my lesson because in the court is where I, as I understood it, that the judge has the most power to hold you in contempt and not have these you know, due processes uh, given to you. So normally we do don't take the plea deal outreach every week. So I was going to attend it with those guys. That's in the mornings from about 8 to 9 a.m. And uh, Burke always walks into work around that time. So I went there about 10 to 7, or excuse me, 10 to 8 a.m. And I just wanted to interview him about contempt of court and wearing a hat and what he felt about that. Now, you know, if Burke was proud of what he did or he really felt he was doing the society, doing society a good deed, he probably would have no problem stopping and saying, wearing a hat in my court is disrespectful. I don't want it. And uh, I will put you in jail for it because it's my right. That's all he really would have had to say, or whatever his beliefs actually were. Instead, he said nothing. I fired about three or four questions at him. I was very polite. Um, I said, sir, or judge even at times, something I normally do not do. And I walked behind him. I didn't try to block his, his pathway or anything like that. Um, when we got to the top of the stairs at Keene District Court, he opened the door pointed to the bailiffs and said, this man, then pointed at me, um, threatened me, and they placed me under arrest. When the police arrived, they then said, no, Burke says you didn't threaten him, but you did do improper influence. Uh, improper, improper influence. And um, so they took me to jail. And uh, there I was charged with a felony, or actually I had a court date, excuse me. They called in another judge. They took me to the police station, did all that process. Then they brought me back to the Keene District Court. Then they had a... Uh, hearing for me with a different judge, Judge Lane, and the state recommended $5,000 bond because I have a record, and um, I said, I've never missed a court date, you know, I would be happy to come back to this court, I didn't do anything wrong, and I begged everybody throughout the process to watch the video. Nobody did. I sat about two and a half days in jail, and um, finally today I signed a form allowing the DA to look at the footage. The officer who actually arrested me pretty much gave me an apology, he said I should not be in jail, and that um, I asked him about filing a, a false police report charges for Burke, and he wasn't so sure about that and actually joked about if he had to make that decision, he'd probably retire. So they're definitely in the wrong. I, I totally expect my charges to be dropped in a week. Um, I want to say a big thanks to a uh, supporter who was uh, kind enough to bail me out. It was $5,000 cash uh, for me to be free. Uh, like we mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, we have a lot of work to do. We're trying to wrap up the Free State Friendship Tour. Pete and I have a week coming up here in Greenfield, Massachusetts, where we're um, facing felony wiretapping charges, amongst other things. So we have a lot of preparing to do for that and a lot of ending of some of our work to do from the uh, recent tour. 
So if you're more interested in any of this stuff, you can head over to LibreonTour.com slash Free State Friendship Tour. Um, if you're interested about the rest, you can go to CopBlock.org slash Improper Influence. Um, I just got out, so I'm trying to keep it fresh. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who uh, helped support us. And uh, jail was a little better this time because uh, Bo and I got to spend a little bit of time. Our only hour out for the first for my first two days and uh, his whole time there as well as on our last day, uh, Jim Johnson, another activist who's serving time um, for trespassing at the jail over a year ago. Uh, he's doing 14 days, probably has about 12 left. I'm sure you can go to mailthejail.com and send him some information and or a letter. And uh, thanks for everything. We really appreciate it. Peace.